Hey guys, still waiting for Samsung to bring One UI 7 to your old phone? Yeah, I know the feeling. But what if I told you, you can get One UI 7 running on your older Samsung device right now? Yes, you heard that right. In this video, I'll show you how to install One UI 7 on any old Samsung device. We'll use a custom ported ROM and flash it using TWRP recovery. But remember, this method needs TWRP installed first. If you haven't installed TWRP yet, make sure to check out my video on how to install TWRP on Samsung devices. I'll leave the link in the description below. For this tutorial, I'm using the Samsung A52s. It's currently running One UI 6.1 based on Android 14. And yes, we're going to ditch that and upgrade it to One UI 7 using a custom ROM. All right, let's get started by downloading the One UI 7 ROM for your device. Open your browser and search for One UI 7 port along with your device name. Now look for a link that takes you to the XDA forum. In my case, I found the ROM thread right there. If you don't find a ROM for your device, sadly, One UI 7 might not be available yet for your Samsung device. In that case, check out other Android 15 ROMs like Lineage OS or Evolution X by clicking here. Now, once you find the right One UI 7 port for your device on XDA, go ahead and download all the required files. So here are the four files, but this may vary depending on your device. Before you flash anything, make sure to read the full instructions on the XDA thread for your device. All right, now let's boot the device into TWRP recovery. So let me quickly do that. Okay, the device is now in TWRP recovery. The first thing you should do is create a full backup. This is very important. Once the backup is done, move it to your PC or a pen drive. In case your phone ends up in a boot loop, you can easily restore the full backup using TWRP. Now, let's flash the ROM file. First, locate the ROM files you copied earlier. Here they are. Start with the system.img file. Select it and then choose system image in the partition type. Now swipe to flash. This process may take a few minutes, so be patient and wait for it to complete. Alright, the system image is now flashed. Next, it's time to flash another image file. Now select the odm.img file and choose odm image under partition type and swipe to flash. Oops, we just ran into an error. It says, size of the image is larger than the target device. To fix this, we need to flash the remaining files using fast boot mode instead of TWRP. Go back to the TWRP home screen, tap on reboot and then choose fast boot. Your device will now boot into fast boot mode. Also make sure your phone is connected to your PC with a USB cable before running any commands. Alright, the device has successfully booted into fast boot mode. Let's now move to the PC screen and continue the flashing process. On your PC, download the platform tool's zip file from the link in the description and then extract it. Once done, open the folder, click on the address bar at the top, type CMD and press enter. Now run these commands one by one to flash the images. First, type fastboot flash product and drag and drop the product.img file into the terminal. Once done, press enter to start flashing the product partition. Just give it a moment. It might take a minute to finish up. Once that's done, let's flash the vendor image. Type this command, fastboot flash vendor and path of vendor file. Once done, hit enter and wait for it to finish. The vendor image is now flashed. Next, we'll flash the ODM image. The process is exactly the same as before. All three files are now flashed successfully. Let's move back to the phone screen. Here in fast boot mode, tap on reboot, then choose recovery. This will boot the device back into TWRP recovery. So just wait for it. Once your phone boots into TWRP, go ahead and tap on wipe, then choose format data. Now just type yes and hit enter to confirm. This step is very important for a clean installation and to avoid boot issues. 
Once that's done, tap on reboot and your device will now start booting into One UI 7. The first boot might take a few minutes, so don't worry. You'll soon see the Samsung setup screen where you can set up your device like a new. Let me fast forward through that part. And there we go. We are now booted into One UI 7 on this 4-year-old Samsung device. It comes with Majisk pre-installed, which means the device is already rooted. So, no need to root it yourself. Let me quickly confirm the One UI version in settings. And yes, it's running Android 15 with One UI version 7.0. Now, about the AI features, I did try them, but sadly they're not working just yet. Yeah, kind of disappointing. But don't worry, the ROM developer has confirmed that they'll be fixed in an upcoming update. So, you should be able to enjoy all the AI features very soon. Everything else is working perfectly, like Circle to Search works flawlessly. Mobile network, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth all connect seamlessly. So give it a try if you want to bring One UI 7 and Android 15 to your old Samsung device. It's a great way to refresh your phone and enjoy the latest features. Before you go, remember to back up your data and follow all the steps carefully to avoid any issues. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so you're always updated when I post something new. Also, check the description for all the download links and guides. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. See you soon.